In 2016, California began rolling out one of the most destructive laws in the state's history, Assembly Bill 329, the so-called Healthy Youth Act. It requires a program of comprehensive sexuality education, or CSE, be taught throughout the state's K through 12 public school system. But CSE isn't confined to California. Some 35 states and counting now require some form of it. If you're unfamiliar with CSE, it's a program of state-sponsored indoctrination with four identifiable goals. The first, to teach that your sex or gender is whatever you think it is. The new orthodoxy is that sexual orientation and gender identity, or SOGI, exist along a spectrum. Your biological sex is meaningless. The second goal is to sexualize children. CSE encourages children to begin engaging in sexual behavior starting in grade school. Third, CSE teaches that the nuclear family is an outdated notion and that any arrangement of consenting adults and children are all equally valid. Conventional beliefs about sexuality in the nuclear family are taught as negative stereotypes. A fourth goal of CSE is to undermine parental authority. Parents are largely kept in the dark about what's being taught and about medical services their children may be receiving. CSE conveys the message that when it comes to sexual matters, the state is the true authority in children's lives. Comprehensive sexuality education is actually a belief system, one that's inherently corrupting and rejects the values that Western civilization was built on. The question is, if you're a parent, what should you do? Having studied CSE extensively, we at Protect Our Kids urge parents to get your children out of the public school system before it's too late. There are three reasons why we've come to this conclusion. First, while you can opt your children out from some of the instruction, you cannot insulate them from the underlying CSE worldview. We now exist, as one writer put it, in a post-opt-out world. SOGI indoctrination is now coming from all corners by politicized teachers, administrators, and legislatures. It's everywhere in our public schools and there's no escape. The second reason is that the public school system has shown itself unfit to raise your children. If teaching CSE isn't bad enough, every year there are at least a dozen campus events to promulgate the SOGI worldview. Here's just a sampling, and it's working. Over one in four California children ages 12 through 17 now identifies as gender non-conforming, according to a recent study by UCLA. The public schools go much further than simply encouraging children to adopt a corrupting worldview. It enables them to hide the consequences of such beliefs from their own parents. In California, children can receive medical intervention without the consent or knowledge of parents for things like treatment of sexually transmitted diseases, birth control, abortion, and mental health. Schools can teach whatever they want, regardless of a parent's objection. As both the First and Ninth Federal Circuit Courts have ruled, when it comes to the right of parents to control the upbringing of their children, that right ends at the school door. Third, even if large numbers of parents mobilize, the system won't be reformed in time to save your kids. The forces against them are too entrenched. Much as you might like to reform the system by changing the composition of our state legislatures and courts, that is likely a decades-long proposition. Then there are the unions, the California Teachers Association, and the NEA, the National Educators Association. The NEA is the largest union in the nation. A witness to that organization's 2019 convention in Houston reported that it, the NEA, passed policies to spend hard-earned teacher and school staff dues to advocate open borders, youth sexual rights, sodomy, and gender distortion. 
This all happened as the union celebrated Stonewall and hundreds of LGBTQ delegates partied to the entertainment of near naked drag queens while children who had been brought to this event watched. These are the same people who see their job as conditioning your children. In their book, Get Out Now, which I urge every parent with a child in the public school system to read, authors Mary Rice Hassan and Teresa Farnan are forced to conclude. The public schools with their vast political and bureaucratic machinery are beyond reform. That does not mean that persons of goodwill should not offer themselves up as missionaries of truth and goodness and beauty to teach there. But we would be quite mad to send our children there. We send missionaries to cannibals. We do not serve cannibals, our boys and girls. Removing a child from public school for a private or homeschool environment will, for many parents, come at great personal cost. But if our children are not worth that sacrifice, what is? I'm Mark Schneider with Protect Our Kids.